Welcome back, party people. It is time for another What's for Dinner video. Now, this video will be a compilation of pictures and clips that I have collected over the holidays leading up until now. Over Christmas break, I tried to do some different activities and special foods for the kids. One would include these holiday themed pancakes. We had This was my first time making a seven layer dip for the holidays, chef's kiss. I made dinner for my husband, the whole family, but I fixed my husband's plate because the kids had some rinky dink noodles right before dinner was when I was cooking. So we did the chili a little different because we do chili kind of often, but I really do chili well. Um, and it's just really cold outside, so it's just a really cozy, consistent meal. So what I did different this time, went back to my Wendy's roots, right? And I made baked potatoes to put the chili on top of. Instead of making the traditional cornbread, I originally bought these oyster crackers from Aldi to do that with it, which I can do like tomorrow if I want, but I was like, I wanna do something different. So this is what I did different. The potato alone cooked to perfection, and it would have been good just by itself with the salt, pepper, butter, sour cream. But the chili is really, really, really good. So that's what's for dinner tonight. This is what's for dinner tonight. It is barbecue. I made some, well, pardon me because I cut my finger cooking tonight again with this new knife set. I'm grateful, but it's clearly dangerous for me to have brand new knives. This is my first time getting a brand new set because mine was a hand-me-down. When I moved out, went to my own apartment. My sister handed them down to me. My mother handed them down to her. So this is my first time having a brand new knife set. I've had like one other new knife. Um, and I think that was from Dollar Tree. Maybe Walmart, like bottom shelf Walmart. But this is a whole, like, this is a real set. This is a real set. And this is the second time that I have cut the same finger significantly bad. This time, I went through almost all of my fingernail. Okay? The first time, I sliced the side up real good. Busted wide open. This time, it's almost luckily, it actually hit my majority of my fingernail. Sliced it open. At the middle, listen, y'all, I'm telling you. I can't show you because, like, okay. So, like, all the way across here. Not the tip, not the bottom. Luckily, not my cuticle. Like, dead center. Almost all of my fingernail. It was awful. And I got a little bit of the side. But luckily, I didn't recut the first cut. But, anywho, okay, so I struggled. You would think I was in the kitchen today and never cooked a day in my life. That's how, that's what type of evening of cooking I had. So. I'm just, I am want to stop pointing with this finger. Let me see. So my husband made some ribs on the grill. I had to put them in the oven and crisp them up a little bit more for my liking. It's just me. I like my stuff crispy. Like my pork, I need that crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. Um, so these are pork ribs. He put them on the grill, but he had to go watch the game. So in my opinion, he did rush it because he wanted to go watch Atlanta Falcons play tonight. 
Um, this was supposed to be potato salad. This was supposed to be potato salad, right? But it's not. It's really just semi. It's just room temperature mashed potatoes with bacon. Okay. Um, this is baked beans. I use some lean beef patties because I'm just using what I have. A lot of things is on shortage. Um, my life is very inconvenient now as far as like running around. So I try to use what I had, which I should be doing anyway. And I use the baked beans, the can of baked beans I already had. But as far as the meat, I like to put ground beef in my baked beans. I put poblano peppers because that's what I had. I put some white onion because that's what I had. And I use these lean beef patties from Publix. And I just grounded them up. So instead of using the regular ground beef that I usually use, I just use what I had. And they were lean beef patties from Publix. So that's basically what I did with the baked beans. I did something a little different. I added some chopped up New Orleans sausage, the Johnsonville smoked sausages. They're New Orleans style. I chopped those up, put it on top because I did, I have bacon. And I usually like to put bacon on top of my baked beans and bake it that way. But it wasn't thought out when I made the food. So I just used some Johnsonville chopped up New Orleans sausage. Just diced it up, put it on top, baked my baked beans like I usually would as if I had some bacon on it. And we're about to see what it tastes like, but I'm sure it's good. So, um, what else? I think it's pretty much it for the potatoes. For the potato salad, what I planned on doing was like a loaded potato salad which is mostly sour cream bacon bits if i had green onions i would have typically put green onions on here but i didn't have them so i did bacon a little bit of sam bacon yeah bacon bits a little bit of sandwich bread and mostly sour cream salt pepper other seasonings of course and that is um and a little bit of sugar and that was my potato salad i cooked the potatoes too long but the tea he he is y'all I think the knife just cutting my finger almost off threw me off because I'm pretty sure I was cutting the potatoes when I, no, I was cutting the poblano peppers up for the baked beans. I had already cut the potatoes with the, no, with the same knife. I think that threw me off. I ended up boiling the potatoes too long. I almost burned my pot up, ruined it. Brand new pot, almost ruined it. Luckily, it's nonstick. That's the only reason that it was saved. If it would have been metal, it would not have been right. And I don't know about how ceramic would have done but um yeah i cooked them too long so when i mixed everything as gentle as i tried to be it just mashed up so it'll still eat good but it wasn't the texture that i was looking for dinner it's a struggle a struggle meal you might look at this and say this meal looks amazing but i categorize it as a struggle meal because of all I the just things quickly I whipped together this homemade pizza for jackson he was hungry we have rotel um that i made for the auburn alabama game but he wanted pizza, so I was like, ooh, I think I can make that. So I already had pepperonis from Sam's, which are all gone. Well, just about gone. Um, I already used that for lunches. And then the other day I had bought some of this garlic naan uh, from Aldi. And then I try to keep cheeses on deck, so I just put mozzarella cheese on there. And then I try to keep some type of sauce too. So I got the marinara pasta sauce from Aldi too. And then I just added the sauce, the cheese, the pepperonis. I ripped them up into fours. And then I added more cheese and then I added parsley. And I'm about to bake it. I guess on about 325 to start. Um, Cause I don't know how fast it's gonna warm through. And he'll have a little pizza, so I'll try to remember yeah, to come back and the try. timer for the pizza. <laughs> so it's a little bit more done than I planned, but this is the pizza. Let me see. It's in the four pieces, I guess. Look like a little brick oven pizza. I think this crust is going to be a good cross between crispy and not. you know what I would do different next time I bake it on the rack or I would par bake the bread either par bake the bread for maybe one or two minutes on about 325 or I would bake it on the rack directly so but you can hear it's pretty crispy sounding, but in the middle, it's just like a little bit shaky. But some people like that. If you're a thin and crispy kind of person, you want to par bake it or bake it on the rack. But if you're a 
I think it's like New York style almost. And you might, this might be your jam. But this is going to be it for Jackson. So I'm going to give him his pizza. That can never be lonely